Hello everyone, my name is Rami. I am the CEO of the Per Gates and I would like to welcome you to our first episode of um, the Per Gates Property Talks. Um, I have today with me one of the real estate investment advisors of the Per Gates, um, Tony. How are you, Tony? I'm, I'm very well, thank you, Rami. How are you doing today? Good, good. Uh, so today we are going to outline some of the important factors for the investors and the advisors. Uh, Tony is with me today. He recently joined us and he, sh he has shown very uh, good performance so far. So Tony, tell us a little bit about um, uh, the options and the, the factors that the, the, the investors may consider today. Yes, certainly, Rami. Uh, first of all, to start up with uh, the real estate price index here in Doha, declined in 16.65, as we all know, uh, during the second to the fourth quarter 2018, uh, showing more affordability in terms of the real estate prices here in Doha. Uh, I would say it was pretty much like a correction in the prices uh, against the massive supply the market was hit by. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, that's... that's. Uh, I see. Okay, Tony. So, can you list for us some of the major options that any buyer or investor may consider today? Uh, certainly, yes. Uh, if you are a buyer or an investor, uh, the market would offer you uh, uh, three major options at this very moment in time. Uh, option number one is the secondary market uh, uh, properties in developed communities such as the Pearl. And these have been delivered a good, you know, three, five, seven years ago. Um, and then you have number two, uh, the, uh, the, the brand new properties mm -hmm. which are just being handed over or uh, which are about to be handed over in a short span of time from today. Mm -hmm. And number three, we do have the off-plan properties in under construction areas, uh, which will be developed, uh, of course, with uh, better features and better infrastructure over the next uh, mid-term to the long term. That's what we're looking at right now. I see, okay. So, Tony, if in case, um, or let's say if I'm a buyer or an investor today looking to invest in this market, what would be my selection criteria? Well, Rami, uh, I would say uh, uh, all these options would have their own pros and cons. Mm -hmm. Having said that, if we were to take uh, the option number one, the secondary market uh, properties in the Pearl, uh, your profit taking will be solely decided on your rental income. Mm -hmm. uh, the rental income has been very, very strong in the Pearl because of its features such as the marinas, the sea, to fine dining, to you know, fashion stores, to some of the most beautiful family living, uh, you know, upscale family living um, in, in Doha. So therefore, your rental income is guaranteed. However, uh, in terms of your capital gain returns, if you were to exit over the next midterm, is not really decided. And uh, because of the factor that uh, your property is, uh, you know, good uh, five to seven years old since the handover. And as you know, the older a property gets, Mm -hmm. It has to be complied uh, mm -hmm. with, a, with a factor called uh, the property depreciating factor. Mm -hmm. um, so option number two is the uh, brand new properties um, uh, which are just being handed over. And you are looking at an initial investment of 15 to 20 percent mm -hmm. of a down payment on these properties. And the rest of the 70 percent could be paid in a matter of three to five years mm -hmm. in, uh, in, in a, in a post-paid payment plan. Now the good news here is, as you're as you're only dumping a, a, a very minimum amount at once, you are bound to get higher rental incomes uh, during the first one to two years. And also, if you were to exit in, in uh, over the next midterm to the long term, let's say the three to five years, uh, you know. Your, your property is pretty much uh, a new unit still, even by then against a secondary market unit. Mm -hmm. And uh, number three, uh, the off-plan properties in, in, an, in a place like Lucille. Now, to give you an idea, Lucille is going to be a sustainable smart city, which Doha has never seen before, which will be facilitated with, with, with features such as uh, you know, the interconnected highways to interconnected rail, light rail systems to some of the best marinas with aqua parks to hotels to shopping malls, uh, you know, you name it, you have it. So therefore, it's a very good idea to, for, for, for you to be stepping into an investment in here. Uh, having said that, all you need is 10% for you to, you know, start your investment, then you can uh, uh, keep paying 5% uh, worth of payments uh, every now and again in a span of two to four years. Now, the good news is 60% of your payment uh, on these properties could be paid 
when the unit is handed over. Mm -hmm. uh, so therefore, in a place like Lucille, I can definitely see uh, a tremendous uh, a potential in terms of capital gain returns. In fact, I would say it's going to be the investors a safe haven in mm -hmm. terms of capital gains uh, over the next midterm to the long term. Correct. Once again, one very important factor that I would like to mention here is that your profit taking will be, no matter whatever the choice you make, your profit taking will be solely decided on when exactly you will come to the investment and when you will exit. So to, to decide on that, uh, I would advise you, you should have a strong hand holding you uh, with knowledge such as the Pearl Gates. Uh, you know, you know what to do. Uh, you I can see. tell that to uh, our viewers, Rami. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, thank you very much, Tony, for outlining the major options in today's market. And um, definitely for those who are watching us today, if you would like to have the best advice on the market and you are thinking to buy or sell today, please reach out uh, to the below details in order to get the best advice. Thank you very much for thank watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Mm -hmm.